Hello everybody, we are over here at our listing at 368 Elm Street, unit number 305. Want to walk you through and uh, show you this great place. Right now, you notice Mr. Raffi. Hi, Mr. Raffi. He's like, I'm just going to relax right now. And he will pop down right there. So the good thing about this building is that Raffi would be just at home. Not only is there a lot of square footage, but the CCNRs, which are the governing documents for this condominium, allow for dogs his size. There are no weight restrictions. There are breed restrictions. Certain dogs like um, pit bulls and fighting breeds aren't technically allowed. But Mr. Raffi is happy nonetheless. The other reason is that there's plenty of square footage here. So anyway, this is unit number 305. We are on the third slash fourth floor. We're on the fourth floor if you're looking at us from the Elm Street side. On the third street, on the third floor, if you're looking at us from the Turk Street side. So, how does it all work? Well, you can figure that out with the floor plan, but take a look here. So we've got the two beds, two baths, and we've got this really nice pop-out where you can see we're just around sunset right now. And in the distance, you can see Jefferson Square Park. And across the way, there is a playground and a softball field and baseball field that are under renovation right now. They'll be done pretty soon. But over here in the distance, you see that that is a project over on Golf Street. It's going to be uh, units and a church, uh, church space. It's going to be, I think, 95 market rate. No, 95 units, and 11 of them are below market rate, but the rest are market rate. Over here is the Chinese American school, the middle school. Over here, there's a very large parking lot that currently belongs to the state of California. Nothing is planned for that as far as we know. And over here, you see the Shell Station, and then there is a large house. That house is slated to be picked up and moved to somewhere on Fulton Street. Um, and they'll be replaced by a, I think an eight-story uh, condo building. Take a look over here. So we're back in here. We have our first bedroom is over here, and it's pretty generous too. You've got windows facing north, so it's pretty pleasant, pretty quiet as well, despite being on Turk Street. And over here, you've got the double doors, and here a really generous closet. The thing that could be interesting is that we were just talking about with certain folks is that maybe you might be able to reconfigure it, where maybe you put in some bookshelves here, we'll pop a little wall here, or make this into a closet for them. And over here, you have a storage closet, but you could use this closet instead as an entryway into the into the uh, bedroom if you wanted to. So you have a little bit coming out here, just a little more space here, closet, bookshelves this way, maybe a TV thing, and then you have your entrance in here. And if you really wanted to, because you shifted your closet over here, you might be able to have this act as an entryway into that bathroom which we'll see in a moment or you could do none of that um over here uh you've got kitchen bar area too um some new led fixtures uh flush mount there were some pendants there before that were a little more dated and we want to make sure they were updated you've got recessed lighting above and of course you've got this really nice fireplace here uh, it's gas controlled and it's controlled by this thermostat right here which i'm now going to turn down so, in addition, you have the kitchen. It's a double galley kitchen. Um, it's gas. Uh, in terms of there's a Gen Air range and oven that's gas. There's a brand new backsplash as well. Um, it's a glass uh, subway tile, which is really nice. You've got your hood above, a tall cabinetry, and then you've got your uh, nice base cabinets here too. And underneath, you've got some new LED lighting that um, the sellers had put in. It makes it really bright, nice and warm. And over here, you've got dishwasher down here, and then you've got your nice sink, commercial style sort of um, faucet, and then you've got the outlook here. So your friends could be all sitting here while you're cooking, and you wonder why are they not helping you, right? So then there's Raffi, who's just relaxing here, and then here's your side-by-side um, -side, uh, stainless Gen Air freezer and refrigerator. Let's go back over here. So this is your entry area. So now it is pretty big. Um, like you said, you could do some reconfiguring here if you wanted to. Um, our sellers used that as an office, so it didn't really matter to them as much. But you know, it's 
to the point where people can be very creative with how their space works. Over here, you've got the full-size washer and dryer stacked, of course. And then here, you've got your bathroom. So remember we said that maybe you could open this up and have a little passageway into that to make it en suite. You've got your toilet here, brand new floating vanity, and you've got your LED lit mirror, which makes you look very fabulous, very almost Kardashian-like in a way too. And you've got um, a mo glass mosaic tile here that, uh, you know, uh, for a bathtub, and you've got travertine down below. Now let's go over to the master suite, which is where it is very interesting indeed. This is an absolutely enormous master bedroom. That's a California King, so let there be no doubt. Um, we were able to put a very large light fixture in here. That's really nice. Here are some plantation shutters. There's a nice accent wall as well. Take a look here. It is really big. There is a second entrance over here. So that leads us to believe that this probably at one point might have been a studio or was planned to be a studio apartment, but they never did it. And instead we have an extremely large uh, two bedroom and the, with an oversized master suite. Now over here, this goes to the master bathroom. We wanted to make the closet really fun, fabulous, and usable. So the sellers agreed and we had uh, new LED lights installed inside the closet. And then um, some really cool lights. These are all LED as well on top. So you kind of have this runway feel. Um, they're, each side's about 11 and a half feet, which means right now you have 23 feet thereabouts of linear, linear feet of closet space. If you did the double rack here, like a one under there and another one here, you would end up with as much as 46 feet. Considering that even the most expensive multi-million dollar uh, Victorians or Edwardian houses or condos, you end up with a little closet that's probably maybe five or ten linear feet. This is pretty extraordinary. So in here, this is the master bathroom. In here we have not one, but two floating vanities and the same LED mirror and the same travertine as well. Your toilet's back here and then your walk-in shower is over here as well with the same mosaic tile and the travertine below. So, that's basically it. Um, there are, most importantly, there is two, there are two uh, parking spaces side by side. They're pretty substantial spaces. They open out and go to Turk Street, which is nice too, which means you have a protected turn onto Gough Street, and it's just simpler and easier to go out that way too, so you don't have to go onto Elm Street itself. And, um, oh, you have radiant uh, baseboard heaters, but it's nice and toasty in here, especially because I turned on the fireplace, which I just turned off. Um, yeah, I know, but this is a pretty fantastic uh, unit. I think there's just a lot of square footage. The HOA dues are relatively low at $499 a month. There is web pass, and the uh, there are 28 residential units. One commercial, there's a little office uh, facing Turk Street, and of those 28, 20 of them are owner-occupied, which is always a good ratio. And, um, you know, you've got a building that's from 2007 that is just in the heart of San Francisco. You have tech shuttle stops which are nearby, you have transit, you have those parks, you have Hayes Valley, you have Civic Center, you have Japantown. I could go on. For more details, visit us at 368-elm.com. And, of course, for more property tour videos, please navigate to kevinandjohnson.com. This is Kevin Ho thanking you for coming along with our little walkthrough over here on Elm Street. All right, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.